Hello, my Aquarius family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. And before we get started, I am excited to be using the new Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck to finish up the October readings. Minerva Siegel and Abigail Larson are the two women responsible for this fun deck. And also returning this year is my Santa Muerte Tarot deck, which I'm using as the clarifying cards. Now this is your monthly tarot reading for you, Aquarius, for October 2020. And thank you for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now always a reminder, these are very general readings. For a personal reading, click on my website link below. Now this reading consists of each week of the month and then a clarifying card for each week. And I've also pulled an angel answer oracle card. So let's get started and see what the cards are indicating for you this month. For your first week, Aquarius, you have the major arcana card, the Empress. For your second week, the page of candles. The third week, the three of needles. And your last week of October, the major arcana card, the fool. How fun is that? This is such a fun deck. And your angel answer card. The situation will improve. So there's the guiding light. Okay, Aquarius. Going back to your first card and then your first week of October, you have the major arcana card, the Empress. Now the first message that I'm feeling is the word stuck. And with the Empress card showing up, this is indicating to get your creative energies flowing again. Because the Empress will present an environment that offers you the abundance you need to just feel nurtured and comfortable so you can start creating and manifesting again. And inspiration will be all around you. But the Empress and the message I'm getting from my guides is one of extreme self-care for some of you. There's a, there's a negative energy that I'm feeling around some Aquarians that's preventing you from obtaining the best for yourself, Aquarius. So that could be why the word stuck is relevant here. Something or someone has got you stuck. So with the Empress energy showing up, this is indicating Take better care of yourself. Concentrate on you, Aquarius. Be sure to eat healthy foods. Stay hydrated. This is in regards to indulging all your senses and connect with nature. So go outside. Take a walk on the beach if possible. Getting close to water is always a very nurturing energy. So if you can... Spend time outdoors near a lake, a pond, a river, the ocean, whatever you can find, whatever is closest to you. And listen to the running water and spend some time with your co-partnership with spirit. That way you can connect with the inspiration that the energy of the Empress card is bringing to you. And it's also helpful to make sure you're connecting with creative and empowered people because that will enhance your creative spirit as well. So in other words, make sure you're staying away from low vibrational negative energy. And it's really interesting that they chose the, the um, Empress in this particular deck as the corpse mom, who you often see leading her child on a leash. <laughs> the Empress is usually a maternal nurturing figure who enjoys self-indulgence and comfort, your comforts of the home. So 
This is about being patient with yourself, being compassionate for yourself. This is about self-love, Aquarius. So this is the time to indulge in your creative impulses, giving gratitude on a daily basis for what is around you. And this will keep you with a positive and healthy outlook. And this is what will trigger inspiration. As the number three energy of the Empress is creative success and positive energy. And three is that number of the navel chakra, which corresponds with your action, your choice, and your will. So Aquarius, take action to make a choice in regards to taking better care of yourself. Now let's take a look at what your clarifying card is indicating. The five of swords. I was already picking up on that energy. Yep. There is a negative energy that is around you at this time. And for some of you, it's making you feel stuck. But I don't think it's certainly your fault at all. There could be negative, low vibrational individuals around you that are pulling you down. And this can get you stuck in a pattern of negative thinking and negative mindset because that's what's around you all the time. And looking at the card here, in the uh, Santa Muerte deck, you see the swords are directly at attacking you. So you're kind of surrounded at this time with this energy. So if you can recognize it, Aquarius, get away from this energy. Also carry some protective crystals this month, black tourmaline, smoky quartz, or even obsidian. As powerful as that one is, that might be the crystal you need to have this month. So with the Five of Swords, the message coming through is to acquire a new point of view and just continue so that you can manage to undermine this negative energy that's around you, which will only pull you towards a negative destiny. Now the number five energy of this card is a difficult energy. It likes to shake things up. It likes to create an imbalance on everything around it. It likes to make you feel like you're really passing through fire. <laughs> so just another indication of why the word stuck came up immediately with your cards. So with this knowledge, Aquarius, try to recognize what's around you that does not serve a purpose in your life or destiny and eliminate the individuals or situation that is creating this kind of energy around you. That way, you can embrace the energy of the Empress showing up for you this week. Now, going into your next week, you have the Page of Candles, better known as the Page of Wands. And the pages are the known messengers of the court. And the Page of Wands usually brings in some exciting news, and it could be an opportunity for some of you. And since this is Wands energy, this can be changes coming in that's related to whatever you're passionate about, whatever your purpose or calling might be, something you love. So with your first card here being the Empress, this is creating and establishing the right kind of environment for you to get your creative juices flowing again. Because with the number three energy of this card, something new is starting to emerge. And the Page of Candles is an energy of fresh, innovative, and creative ideas. And with it being a Page energy, this is a very early stage of the inspiration or idea. So it doesn't have a rock-solid foundation yet in order to move forward. But let's take a look at your clarifying card. The Major Arcana card, the Star, very nice. This is indicating that you're getting protection from your angels and guides. And with the star card showing up, it's an energy of hope and optimism. So this is indicating a fresh start, moving away from this. And in regards to a creative venture, such as what your cards here are indicating, the star is an indication of success. 
And the star card happens to be your card, Aquarius. So the energy here is amplified. So this is definitely an indication to channel all your energies towards your ideas and goals. And the number 17 of the star card reduces to eight, which is the number of abundance. And keep in mind that the star is not only a symbol of hope and wishes, it offers guidance and illumination as well. This card here is associated with your second chakra, change coming in, and also your seventh chakra, it's your connection with the divine. So pay attention to your thoughts and ideas. Spend some time outdoors in nature to get messages and guidance from your angels and guides. The Empress card kicked off your month with the opportunity for you to create something new. Now going into your third week, Aquarius, you have the Three of Needles, which is also known as the Three of Swords. Now the energy that I'm picking up off of this card is one of more ending the possible draining and low vibrational relationships around you. And this goes back to your Five of Swords energy. This is indicating here that you're cutting something loose at this time. And that's in regards to that negative energy because that's affecting your heart and creativity. The number three energy of this card is supporting that something new is emerging. And the three of swords is actually Libra's card. And I feel it's bringing things back into balance for you. And it's also associated with the planet Saturn and that's usually in regards to time. So it might take a little bit of time to clear out all this negative energy, but you are making progress. Things are coming back into balance. And the three of needles is just indicating that you're letting go of some sort of way of thinking that has ceased to be useful for you, especially in your future. And once again, the five of swords energy that's around you. So let's take a look at your clarifying card for this. The Three of Wands. This card's indicating early signs of success. So even though it might take you possibly your first and your second week, by the third week here, you're really making progress with clearing out any negative energy around you. And this card is indicating for some Aquarians, possibly starting a new business. This card always indicates the birth of an enterprise. It can also be the early start of a new project. But the ideas that might have been sparked here with the Empress card are really now starting to come into fruition. And once again, we have the recurring number three energy in your reading. And the wand energy is something that you're passionate about. Now, taking a look at your last week, Aquarius, you have the Major Arcana card, The Fool. So this is a true indication of going off on a new adventure, a new journey, something that's really aligned to something you're passionate about. It's your calling. And always when The Fool card shows up, this is indicating that you have to just take a leap of faith and trust in the journey. So this is a card of having an open mind, not making assumptions about how everything will be. You need to stay open to surprises and unexpected opportunities showing up. So this is really trusting in the universe and then take that leap of faith into something which is going to be somewhat out of your comfort zone. So this can go off in many different directions. This is the general reading. So we're talking about whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're trying to obtain this month. And this could be in regards to your job or career, obtaining a job or obtaining a new position, a promotion. This could be in regards to a relationship, a possible friendship, and you want it to become something more. This can be a new hobby that will maybe will emerge into a home-based business. 
so that you can now be financially secure doing something that you truly love. But it is something that you've been waiting and wanting to do. And with the full card showing up, this is indicating the energy of your now standing at the crossroads. To just jump in with this new exciting phase or path that you're going to be headed down. Now taking a look at your clarifying card, you have the page of pentacles. So here is another page bringing in news. And this is good news in regards to money and the material world. So for many Aquarians, this can be related to your job or career or just gaining employment. Could be a promotion where you're going to be making more money. And when this page turns up, it's representing something new coming in. A new job, a new project, a new investment in regards to money. New studies. Maybe you want to learn more in a certain field. So you want to gain new knowledge and skills at this time. Something you're passionate about. But one important factor, and I find this interesting, the Page of Pentacles is indicating the call to be out in nature. The physical world is actually holding a message for you, Aquarius. It's the same as the message of the Empress card, to get out in nature. So it's the first card you had, and then also the last card. So somewhere in the month of October, you got something new that's trying to come through, but there are a few obstacles in the way. Now, let's take a look at your angel answer message first before I summarize your reading for the month. And your message is the situation will improve. And there's the guiding light. Something you feel passionate about. This is in the ocean. That's like a cup's energy. So no worries, Aquarius, as with this card, your angels want you to know that they are aware that things might look a bit difficult right now. However, your situation is going to improve and it might take a little bit of time. That's what we we're talking about here. And there will most likely be some hard work ahead of you, but the effort you put into it will be worth it and things are going to get better. There is definite hope for your future, and you're on the right path, so continue to work towards what your creative energy is leading you to. What is your passion, Aquarius? That's your biggest key as to what is emerging in this month of October. Okay, Aquarius, your, to summarize your monthly reading here, you start off your first week with the wonderful energy of the Major Arcana card, the Empress, bringing in change, bringing in a very inviting environment for you to create something new for yourself. And you start off your month with that number three energy. So something's emerging. Something's coming together to create something new for you. And this could be in regards to a job, relationship, a project, a hobby, or a business. But take notice that your clarifying card, the Five of Swords, is indicating there is something that is around you, a negative, low vibrational energy, which has been preventing you from moving forward, feeling stuck. So be sure you have your protective crystals and be aware of what it is around you or who it is around you that is not for your highest good. And most people think of someone right away. So trust in your intuition. Now your second week, you have the page of candles or wands, bringing in some exciting news or a possible opportunity for you. And this could have something to do with possible inspiration brought on from the Empress energy. And the major arcana card, the star is reassuring you protection from your angels and guides and giving you the hope and optimism to just keep moving forward. And in your third week here, the three of needles or swords is just an indication that you're letting go of whatever the five of swords card was referring to that was around you. 
the negative energy, the negative mindset. And this card is indicating you're letting them go so that you can bring forth that creative number three energy. And your three of wands is supporting your future. This is indicating early signs of success coming through with whatever it is that you're passionate about and wanting to obtain. Then in your last week is where you have the presentation of the Fool card. You're at a crossroads. You have a new adventure, a new journey, a new project, a new job, a new relationship, whatever it is. You have to just jump in and take a leap of faith. But with the Page of Pentacles as a clarifying card, this has a lot to do with money. So it could be your job or something that you've been working really hard for. And the Page of Pentacles is indicating good news coming in in regards to whatever the full card is indicating for the new adventure or journey that you're about to begin. And your angel answer message is the situation will improve and your cards are indicating just that. Just be aware of the opportunity that the Empress card is presenting. This is your opportunity to create what it is you want to bring into your life. And be aware of negative low vibrational energy around you, whether that's in regards to individuals or situations. But in your third week here, that's starting to clear up. And then in the fourth week, after all this hard work, creating, eliminating, waiting, the presentation of what you've been working towards arrives. Okay, Aquarius, your numerology for this reading for the month of October here adds up to number seven. And the first message with your numerology is that you're going to be dealing with things that are beyond your control. This is like trying to stay on course as with the chariot card, if you're familiar with that card. You're going to have things around you that are trying to stop you or steer you off course. And that's the energy of number seven. But seven is also a spiritual number. So don't forget about your co-partnership with spirit to give you daily guidance and direction throughout the month of October. You have the number three energy throughout the month, Aquarius, which is indicating new beginnings for you. So be sure to have your protective crystals this month and remain positive and just keep working towards your goals until you see that crossroads appear with the full card. And then it, it will be time to just take that leap of faith. Now, I leave you with the message of the cards, Aquarius, and this general reading is just a snapshot to your energy this month. For an extended tarot card reading, click on my website link below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Aquarian family.